From Katy Perry to Beyonce, even our own Dr. Jen Ashton, wigs are blowing up in popularity and they've evolved so much you never know who's wearing a wig. Yeah, so here with everything that you need to know about buying, caring for, and styling a wig is top celebrity hairstylist Kaya Wright. <laughs> Kaya, good to see you and welcome. Yes, thank you for having me. So happy you're here. Yes. All right, so what do people need to know when it comes to shopping and buying a wig? Uh, first things first, synthetic or human hair. That's the key. You kind of want to know what do you want this wig for? Your regimen. Is it going to be for like every day? She cute, she cute, work, gym life, the whole thing? She cute, she cute. She cute, she cute. All you all know it. what I mean? But for me, I'm all about a human hair wig. I know sometimes it's about affordability and human hair can be a lot more pricey than the synthetics. They're a mm. They don't last as long. They are a little bit more shinier and they don't look as natural. When you go human, you can curl the hair, you can turn that heat up on blast and you get a little more versatility and you can color it so that's the greatest mm. thing about which one holds up in the rain and the, and the heat um uh, no heat but this one the human hair the human, okay. the human hair you want right. to go human and you get that lace front so you get more natural yes i love that yes, so yes. i be, had to become a pro at this yes since it's been i've been using a lot of these wigs and hair pieces to resuscitate my hair but how yes. to care for the wig if you make that investment, you have to care for it yes. properly. Either way, you want to care for these pieces. Yeah. Either way. Um, what I recommend is not using shampoos that have too much hydration in them. Hydration just weighs the hair down. It gets really clammy. No body, no movement. So you want to just stay light and do like cleansing shampoos. So you do shampoos. have to wash them. Yes, oh. you want to shampoo them at least once a week. If you please. wear them three to four times, <laughs> please. please wash. He's like, please shampoo your hair. So three to four wears, three to five wears, shampoo your hair at the end of the week, keep it light, cleansing shampoos, paddle brush, brush through, and then use a leave-in conditioner just to style and blow dry it. Mm -hmm. Super simple, super easy. You need your T-pins, you can do your wig tape. I'm a natural girl, I'm not into the baby hairs, so <laughs> wig tape is fine, or just tucking and pinning your wig is great. Okay, when okay. it comes to styling, walk yes, us through this. Yes, so styling, okay, if you are wearing synthetics, which these two are synthetics, some people love synthetics because they're easy, out the box, they're already colored, and they're affordable. So these are great, they're already pre-styled and they're colored already. And then, very, very low heat. Some of these don't take heat at all, but some of them take very, very, very low heat. And then when you have your human hair, you can use as much heat as you like. You can color it. You can do all the things. You know you yeah. wear pieces, so you know the, the flexibility that you will get when wearing natural hair. All right? <laughs> all right. We love it. Well, one of our viewers uh, got a brand new look, of course, after struggling to grow her hair. Yes. <laughs> Let's listen to what she had to say, Gloria. Yes. Hi, my name is Gloria. One of the things I've become painfully aware of is how much slower my hair grows since going through menopause. And I would just love to see myself with longer, thicker, fuller hair again. All and right, well, say no more. <laughs> Miss Gloria is here. Come on out. <laughs> What I did with Gloria was she was just like, I don't want too much hair. I don't want too much hair. So I, we started out as a 20, and then we moved it up to like a 16. And I gave her some layers, and I wanted to bring out her eyes, so highlights were key oh for me. And I wanted to use her natural hairline. So that's the thing, keeping it natural. And so she doesn't feel Gosh. insecure about wearing a wig, because she wasn't really a wig wearer. She wore a couple of clip-ins, but she wasn't a wig wearer. Clip-ins, is that a good option? Clip-ins is a great start. That's a great start. That's or a great entryway. Popo. Or Popo. a ponytail. Yes. The yes. Popo. Yes. Exactly. Make sure it's in there because if it come out. Woo! <laughs> not so good. <laughs> you Kaya, so thank bad. you so much. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Are you yeah. loving your look? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.